Good morning, ninjas. My name is Semrol. Today, the big boys are going to play for a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of an advanced sequences, like the kind you see in the Main Stage Revolution pack and the Cymatics packs. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play with the big boys, all right? So that way, you can make them yourself, and also, you guys can see that this is what the Main Stage pack has. Again, if you want to support the pack, make sure to do it before this Friday, because the price is going to shoot up to $50. All right, guys, let's get straight into it. Let me show you an example of what we're going to do. This is not the end result, but this is something similar to what we're going to aim for. Something like that. So this is what we're going to be doing, all right, guys? So the first question you need to ask yourself as a sound designer or as a, you know, amateur or soon-to-be sound designer, if you're going to give this a shot, is to ask yourselves, okay, how do I want my fill to happen? Do I want a super saw to come in, blah, blah, or you hear a song and you hear a super saw? For me, this one, we're going to start with a super saw, which is going to sound like this. So that's going to be the first thing I do, designing the sound that's going to be part of the sequence. All right, so... Let's play it up there, right there. Now, the next step is gonna be to modulate. What do I want this to do? Well, I kinda want it to do sort of like this nice little Hoover effect, and I want that to happen for half a bar, so let's just do that right now. We're just gonna move this here and see if we can get something cool out of it. So we're gonna put this on the level. Okay, then we're gonna go. We're gonna turn envelope mode on so it doesn't loop itself. It's not gonna come back because again, it's a sequence. It's just gonna do the thing or whatever, and that's it. Okay, and now we're gonna ask ourselves what can we use this to modulate? So, for instance, let's say we want to modulate the pitch. Well, we can't. When you put it in, it's gonna be bipolar, which means it's your sorry, um, yeah, bipolar, which is gonna go left and right, and then there's unipolar, which if you hold alt shift and click, you make a unipolar and it only goes one direction. So, then you can get stuff like that kind of sound there. You know, let's say that's where we want to go there, and let's say we want to add another. And there we go. Now, let's say you want this to keep going. Then make sure over here you move this up here. And then you're going to click here and move this. And there you go. You have that. Okay. So let's go back to what we had. However, I, I kind of I don't want it to loop again. So we're going to have. So I'm going to have that there. Now, this empty spot you see here is going to be my next sound. And that's going to be this one here. But let's see if we can make this sound a little bit dirtier by adding just a little bit of that OTT here. We're going to activate it. And let's move that here. And then we can, with this, we can add this on. Let's say, ah, let's leave it like. And then we're going to add some reverb to. This. There we go. And down. Cool. All right. Now we're going to go to oscillator B. And this is where it's going to get a little interesting. The first thing is we need to find out, you know, like what kind of wavetable we want for this. So let's say that we want that dubstep wavetable, but we have to find one that works. So let's go to LFO 2 now. And then LFO2, we're going to delay it by half a bar here. Or actually, let's do one-fourth. That way, this hits. And then we start this. Okay, so let's try that one-fourth delay here. Uh, sorry, here. One-fourth. And let's turn it. And put it here. And then you can see that's going to come in. You can also put this at, let's say, one-fourth here and have it do this. And then we have that. So it's totally up to you again. It's all about knowing what you're doing. So once we have this, let's do this half a bar as well. And then this is where we're going to have a womp womp. Let's do it one. Let's, so we're going to shape this what we want here. And we're going to. There we go. And let's lower this down an octave. There we go. And now it's time to add this to stuff. Let's say maybe the wave tail position. And there we go. We have a nice little sound there. As you guys can see, we're going to have to mess with the volume here. And there we go. So very cool stuff there. We have the, kind of like the basis of what we want to do. Now let's let's get a little bit more advanced with this, so I can teach you guys where it starts to get a little bit more crazy. Okay. Now let's say that during the 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 effect of the saw, I want the reverb to kind of go like do this kind of like you know bass clef, kind of like you know just fucking like kind of ret like return on it. How would I do that? Well. Instantly, I'm going to get LFO 3. We know this lasts one fourth, so we're going to put one fourth an envelope on, and then we're going to move this up, and now we can go into our reverb and make this go up. Now, it's going to come back down, know that, so then we're going to get this effect right now. You know, so you can see that we have that cool effect. So why don't we do this? Okay, well, how about we go... You can kind of see that. Now, let's say we want to add distortion, but we don't want to add it to the super saw. Then how do I do that? Well, instantly we know that when LFO 1 is playing, LFO 3 is not. Sorry, LFO 2 is not. So we add this LFO 2 to our dry here. 
to our distortion and now we have that so now i can get let's say a super hard distortion like linfold and ha not worry about this you know hitting the soft you can see there so now let's make it a little bit less and let's move this down very cool right same thing can be done let's say the ott you only want it for the you know for the for the wobbles and you just do that or let's say you only want it for the you know for the whoops let's remove that let's say you only want it for the super saw then you can just put that like so and that's the way we're going to be doing it another way to do that is let's say you want that but you don't want it to sound like it's barely coming in and out then you would use another lfo and in this lfo envelope mode let's say it's one four you're going to have this go on like so and then at the end just make sure it comes down like so that way this turns it on for us envelope mode and then we don't have it in so we're gonna have that for instance on the re we're gonna do that there let's make sure it comes down as you can see the effect works that way gladly i don't want that um i like the way when it's coming in because you can do cool stuff now we can add let's say a filter let's say it's a comb one or something cool like that and now you know let's just make this go back because uh, my ocd is kicking in even though we're not using it we can have that as well the comb filter same same technique here we're just going to do that and then you can mess with it Woo, it's getting crazy bro you know and then there you can just mess with it okay so the comb filter is going to be dope uh, i don't want to mess with that right now though so right now we have this now let's say that we want again you know like the pitch coming down or something then we're just going to be adding a new lfo so let's remove this here and let's say we want the the pitch of this to change over time as we're going along we'll just put these on here one directional and then we can just mess with it you know let's make this be like uh one one half and now we can control that so let's say here on the pitch of the saw we want this to be nothing happening but then on the on the oscillator b on the wobbles we want it to kind of have like this downward going effect then all we would have to do and then we go from and that's how we make really cool um sequences ultimate synth fills i guess you would want to say and, and again you know this is the whole trick behind it you can even add an envelope three let's say slowly bringing in like the reverb let's say that's what we want um well envelope's not going to care what it's on you know or or like lfos is not going to have anything it's just going to do the adsr and then let's say we want that to and there we have it and now we just have that um it's it's a really cool thing uh, you know the thing about sound design guys is as you can see it's very simple but the thing about it is you have to be very creative with it like you have to understand like oh this is what i want to do and you have to know how to get there and that's when it gets very complex anyways guys i hope this video kind of helped you guys out like i said there's a lot of these in the main stage evolution pack we're gonna have some really dope ones that just go crazy haywire like this one you know and i want you guys to be able to do that kind of stuff so this video is kind of like a a basics of doing that but hopefully it helps you guys go towards that kind of you know um kind of sound design that you want to make like for instance this one as well you know if you were to study this lfo2 is going to make it so that this second saw here comes in at the right time which is over here and this one is modulating again this oscillator b this filter and so forth and and you know it's just having that creativity that lets you do that because once you can do this stuff like um like you know naturally you're like okay it's not the fact that i can't do it it's just the fact that i don't have any cool ideas on how to make these sequences what can i do like that's different um but then if you have a song as reference and you hear that um then i want you guys to be able to do that and this is the way of doing it using lfos in this certain way again envelope makes it so it's not loopable and trick is going to make it so it starts at the beginning all the time you know just follow what you think is right here but this is just the basics of you know this um it's up to you guys to take it further obviously and practice you know what can i add this to how can i make this and this but i hope this guy this help video helps you guys out i'll see you guys tomorrow for another brand new video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one take care and have an amazing day ninjas